In this video, I'm going to walk you through making your own weekly planner spreads in a Erin Condren dot grid notebook. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, my name is Kristen. Welcome to my channel. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week, usually using my Erin Condren monthly planner. Um, but today we're gonna look at a dot grid planner. I'm sorry, that's not a planner, a dot grid notebook, and talk about how you can turn this into your own custom planner. Maybe the Erin Condren life planner is outside of your budget, or maybe you don't need something so big, or maybe you just want something that's super customizable. And um, I have been playing around with this dot grid and I just thought I would show you what I've come up with. The idea for this came from how I have been using my monthly planner as a weekly planner, where I take the lined pages in the monthly and I create a weekly spread on one page. And so I've been doing that since the beginning of this year and um, like we're now in week 10 and I'm still loving it and just having a, like a really good time doing that. I love the how I can just be creative and kind of make it work for me for my specific circumstances for that week. Um, so I wanted to show you how I've been doing that just for fun in this dot grid. I thought it would be helpful to kind of show you how you could do it. So I started off by thinking I've been doing a week on one page. Is it possible to do a month on one page and um, so I kind of did it I started in the back here because this was how I wasn't sure if that's how I wanted to use this notebook like specifically to create layouts like that it was just something I thought well I can use the end and then if I don't end up liking it I can just tear that page out right so um, I came and figured out I could do a month on one page. All I did was I counted how many squares there are across and how many squares there are down, and then I divided it evenly by seven so I could get the seven days of the week, and then I added five rows of that so that I could have five weeks for the entire month. So I just did a little mock-up here of the month of March, and basically the each box is four squares by five squares, and then I still have room down here for a task list or like goals or a tracker, or even just listing out the dates since these boxes are a little small. I could perhaps, you know, color code something and then put here what that is, or I have here all of these little Planner Kate stickers just to show you how you could fit stickers in these boxes. So the box is kind of small for writing in, but if you use these, these are the black and white icons, the BW icons from Planner Kate. This is the little mini doodle flag from Planner Kate. And this is a doodle light bulb from Planner Kate. Just so you can kind of see the sizing of this and how it is still very usable. Um, you could put whatever icons you want and then make a key down here if you need to. I just think this is fun and I'm super tempted to actually use this as my like monthly plan, but I don't know, we'll see. So if you maybe already have a planner and you don't need to create a whole new one in a notebook, this is another good way to maybe track something or maybe it can be like a little budgeting calendar or anything like that, that where you don't need the whole two page spread with tons of space to write in the boxes. I don't know, I just thought it was really neat. So that is the monthly spread I made. And then on this page or here, I have two other weekly spreads using the dot grid. So let's start with this one. This is a like Monday through Thursday on top and then Friday through Sunday here and then a box for notes. So this is an entire week on the one page. We still have room up here for maybe some like priorities or a, like task list. Um, down here, I have some squares that I drew out using my um, Christian Designs KDK Plans collab stencil. Um, there are seven check boxes, so that's perfect for like a habit tracker and you have room to write out something like water or steps or whatever your habits are that you would track. 
I went ahead and put some stickers here to show you that you can fit your standard vertical one and a half inch wide stickers on these. Um, these are seven dot, sorry, they're seven squares across, which comes out to be just at one and a half inches. So it's perfect if you still want to use some stickers. Here I have kind of like a horizontal layout on one page, and this was like my take on turning a horizontal layout into like the three boxes of the vertical planner. Um, and so over here I thought this, this column would be just like the events happening that day. This column is like the task list for that day. And then here I just kind of mocked up like a wellness column, I guess you could say, where I just kind of have like the food eaten and then the activity. And so here I have check marks just because it was like, this is what I pre-planned and I check off what actually happened. This one is not like perfectly symmetrical. The two, um, like the task list and the wellness column are bigger than the event column, but that's just because I thought there would be more writing in these columns than in the event column. But the beauty of this is that you can do that any way you want. You can make it as wide as you want. Here I have where I tried to do a week on two pages and this is set up like a vertical. But I did it where the Erin Condren vertical, like both the vertical and the hourly, have a Monday through Wednesday on this side and a Thursday through Sunday on this side. I did Monday through Thursday on this side and then like the weekend days on this side. And I found this old Planner Kate Moxie Life date strip in my stash and I thought I would show you how perfectly that fits here on this layout that I drew out here. How perfectly you could still use stickers there. These are one and a half inch wide columns so you would be able to use your standard vertical sticker kits if that's something you like to do. I don't think Planner Kate currently still makes these stickers for the Moxie Life Planner but the Moxie Life Planner is still out there so I'm sure other shops do and these date strips would work perfectly for this kind of layout and I just have like a to-do section and a note section. There's still room down here to add things. There's still room up here to do what you want with. Um, I actually used the days of the week washi from the new washi that Erin Condren released with the new notebooks just to see if it would work. And I do have another layout that I kind of tried to make using that. So here I just laid down the washi without cutting it. And then I just made dots down the page or a dotted line down the page between each of the days of the week. So they are not even because the, the words, the days of the week words are not even like in length. However, this might be fun just for like a, a, just to scratch out a list. Like if you don't need to have very specific plans or maybe you're just trying to visualize something like time blocking wise, you could sketch out some times here and then just like color code or like highlight, you know, I'm at work from these hours or I have time to do, you know, whatever in these hours, that kind of thing. I just wanted to show you how you could use this washi, um, but it wouldn't make for perfectly even columns. If you wanted perfectly even columns, you could totally cut the washi so that you could fit each word within an evenly spaced column. So that is how I kind of came up with a few different options in my dot grid. But then I got to thinking, what about the lined notebook? And I actually don't have a lined notebook, um, but I do have an extra monthly planner that was accidentally sent to me. So I got that out and started using the lined pages in here. So I have like my monthly for February and then these are just regular line pages and they're the same as in the lined notebook. So it works the same way. Just like always we have 28 lines down 
And I was able to kind of make the same um, layout here that I made back here with the three columns. So it's kind of like a horizontal where you have each day going this way and then I have the events of the day, the to-do list for each day, and then my wellness tracking for each day. So if you want to do it this way, you would have four days, or sorry, you would have four lines for each day. And that's just enough for like maybe th your three meals and an activity if you wanted to include a wellness thing over here. Obviously you could put whatever you wanted in there, but that's just kind of where I was, where my head has been at lately and so that's what I thought I could use it for. This is another layout that I am probably going to use um, soon in my actual monthly planning and a plan with me, um, but I have some different ideas for how I could do it. But it's basically just individual boxes and it's just kind of, it lends itself to a little more white space and not so like cluttered just because I have some space in between. This one isn't perfectly evenly spaced. Um, I actually did sketch this while I was sitting in my bed, so it wasn't really super easy to measure this out, but it was just something that I was just playing around with and I thought um, it would be fun to try out. So here's another like vertical style a week on two pages. And this one is very similar to the one I did in the dot grid this way. So it's the same concept. We have the same, I believe I made them one and a half inches. Let me see. Yes, so I made the columns one and a half inches on the lined paper as well. And by doing that, I had a little bit of space left over. So I thought this would be a nice spot to go ahead and label what each column stands for, or sorry, what each row stands for. And so at the very top, I have a section for today because with my schedule, it's not heavily scheduled with events. It's mostly task-based. And so I don't need a lot of room to say this is happening at this time and this is happening at this time. So I just thought three lines would be good enough where I could note, you know, if we have a dentist appointment or if I have a lash appointment or if there's anything happening that day that's important, like, you know, picture day at school or something like that. That's a good spot for that. I left two lines and, and I put a exclamation point here to indicate like this is the important thing. Like I thought my thought process there is that as long as the thing in this box gets done, the day has been a success. Like that's the most important thing that needs to get done that day. And that way it's like easy to prioritize. Here I have, I gave myself like six lines to keep track of what I wanted to do for content that day. I have been trying a little bit harder to be more mindful of planning out my content and like here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. And a lot of that takes a lot of preparation so that I am not spending like all day doing something. I need to break it up into smaller chunks to fit in with the other things I do during the day. And I found that if I plan ahead, you know, go figure, I can make it work. So anyhow, I have some lines here that I could add whatever I wanted for content, whatever needs to get done, maybe something that is scheduled for that day. And then I gave myself a space for wellness, just like I was saying earlier. It's been on my mind lately to, you know, make some better choices with eating. It, that is on my goals for this year is to, you know, stay gluten free because that's what my body needs and avoid sugar and stuff like that. So this is like a spot where I can kind of be mindful about those things. And then I have my blank space here for tasks. And then I have a whole sidebar over here for whatever I want, but of course you could have like your running weekly to-do list or anything like that. So I thought that was like a really nice way to use the lined planner. Um, if you are a person that likes the vertical, but you wish it had lines, I don't know, maybe consider drawing it out in a lined notebook. I don't know, that might be a little too involved for you, but it is an option. Um, I, I don't mind it. Obviously, I've been creating and drawing out a spread every week since the beginning of the year. 
And I think once you figure out the types of layouts you like, then you, it's easy to just repeat that. And you could even do a full month all at once if you wanted to. Um, I prefer to do it week by week because then I can assess what I actually need that week. But I don't know, I really think that this is a fun way to still get to use that really great Erin Condren quality, but like, super customize it to exactly what you need and you still get to be a little bit creative. Right here, it's all done in pencil, but of course you can use markers and highlighters and stickers and whatever you wanted to use. So that is what I have here for the um, layouts I've, came, I've come up with for you know the weekly mostly, but then I got to thinking, what about we try together to see about making a monthly spread in here that is on the two pages, like the traditional monthly spread. So I kind of brought this planner over so I could just look at how it's laid out here and just kind of use it as a guide. And I'm gonna leave it off camera a little bit over here. Actually, that almost just fell off the table. So, um, but then I thought, let's try to do this together. Let's see if this is something that, um, it, this may be a disaster, I don't know. Um, we're, we're gonna find out. So I know that I need um, usually five weeks worth of boxes and um, we do need like a header space for the month and the year and then also space to write out the days of the week. Since there are 38 squares down, we can do seven boxes for each row. So seven of these like dot grid boxes times five, because we need five weeks for a month, that's 35. There are 38, so we can skip the first three lines and start drawing this out. Um, three lines may or may not be enough. Um, I do write big, but um, we do need space to write out that it's, you know, the month and also the days of the week. I'm going to use this Micron, Pigma Micron pen. This is in the 03 size. The reason I like this is because it doesn't smear both, you know, when my hand goes over it and it doesn't smear if I highlight over it. And a lot of times with my gel pen, when I'm drawing lines using a straight edge, the way the gel pen works, a lot of ink comes out of it whenever I'm drawing against a straight edge. And then it creates a big like bubble. It pulls up the ink and smears it a lot. So I'm gonna use this Micron just to be safe. And I'm gonna draw a line across all the way, across all these dots. I'm gonna do it at the bottom just to connect it and then I'll connect the sides and then we'll start making the grid for the month, for the monthly squares. Okay, and then let's do this side real quick. And so this is gonna be the Monday through Thursday half of the calendar. And the other page will be the Friday through Sunday half of the calendar. But right now I want to, since this is gonna be the Monday through Thursday, that's four days, we have 28 squares across. So that means we can get 28 divided by four is seven. So that means we can also get another seven this way. So our squares are gonna be, our date squares are gonna be like actually square, which is nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna draw these lines. Okay, so I have my Monday through Thursday, and here I'm going to, because we have 
35 here that we marked out and we need five weeks for the month, that is 35 divided by five is seven. So we have another seven here. So we'll go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and draw a line. And then again, And the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so this is the Monday through Thursday, and then we've got five weeks worth of boxes. Now I need to draw the other side here. Now this one, I am not doing four all the way across because I wanna have room for like a sidebar the way we have on like our Erin Condren um, planners. And so I only need three for you know Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So what I'm gonna do is because these were seven, each of these lines were seven, um, I am going to, this is where you just kind of have to watch what you're doing and make sure. So remember at the top, we skipped three. And so I am gonna line up my ruler, but then instead of drawing all the way across, I'm gonna make sure to leave seven open at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna start drawing there. And then now I know I can go all the way to the bottom. If I could get my ruler lined up straight. Okay, and then we can go over here and go all the way to the bottom again. And then connect the bottom and then do the same thing with the seven, seven spaces across and seven spaces down. I might speed this part up in um, when I'm editing, but I am gonna tell you the real time it took me to make this so you can see if that's something that, you know, would take too long for you or not. But once we get the whole spread done, I'll tell you how long it was. Okay, so now I have my grid and um, I want to actually, I'm just gonna recreate my March spread because it's easy. It's something I don't have to think about because it's already done. You can watch the plan with me for this. Um, I'll link it right there if you haven't seen it, but I'm just gonna put that there so that I can just copy that. And um, what I'm gonna do here is how about let's use this Erin Condren. Um, this is one of the new focused collection um, dual tip markers. And this is, this is in gray. And what I'm gonna do is just highlight across the top where I'm gonna write the days of the week, I think. Um, this is a small chisel tip. And so I think it'll work perfect here. And I'm just doing it in gray. Of course, you can do it in any color you want. You can alternate colors, make a rainbow theme. Obviously, that is the beauty of doing this yourself. You can make it any color you want. You can also use stickers to um, make your, you know, the date cover stickers. Um, I don't know if the monthly um, dates would fit here, like the re the colors you can buy. I know Planner Kate has them, or you can buy the strips to change your planner from like a Sunday start to a Monday start. I don't know how much that lines up here. Um, the original Erin Condren planner squares are a little 
over one and a half inches wide, but these are going to be right at one and a half inches wide. So it might not work. It might work. I'm not really sure to be honest, but let's go ahead. Let me finish um, doing this and I'll write in the days of the week here. All right, so I've got um, Monday. I just misspelled that already. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Um, the coil's in the way. It's easier if I turn it this way because it makes it all one height. Um, we've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now I need to write in all the dates and um, I'm just gonna put them in this top right corner. I just like them there. That's where they go on all the other planners. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And I'll speed through that real quick. I put the R down first just because it's in the center of the word March and I already had my center line marked and it just helped me line it up a little bit better. So now we have the entire month and you can go in and plan this however you want. You can add stickers. Um, like I said, these are one and a half so all of your label stickers are gonna fit in here. It's gonna be line to line or edge to edge or whatever but they're still gonna fit. So you can use all of those labels you've collected. You can use the ones in the back of the notebook if you want. They're going to fit perfectly. And that's it. That's a, that's a month on two pages. And then you can, you have your sidebar that you could put whatever you need to put in here. And I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it was fun. It didn't take too long. I'm going to insert, um, I'll put right here the time it took to finish that. So you can kind of decide if something like this would work for you or not. Um, and I lost the lid to this pen. So we're just going to put it right here for now until I find that lid because, oh, here it is. It's in my basket. All right. Now it's safe. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video. Um, let me know what you think about um, creating your own planner spreads. I know I've been doing it all month, but what do you think about using the dot grid notebook? These are um, regular price, $17.50. Um, the other thing is something like this, Planner Kate sells full page stickers with this on it. So you wouldn't have to draw the months out all the time. If you didn't want to, you could use stickers for that and then draw out your weeks as it's, um, as it works for you. But I don't know, give me, give me your thoughts on that. Would you ever do something like this in the notebook? Let me know what you think about making up your own planner bullet journal style, but still getting that good quality Erin Condren experience with you know interchangeable covers and the nice coil and of course the gorgeous paper. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. And um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.